simulcast to five other Ukrainian cities to 14 million people. Here's what Mr. Pinchuk said at that concert. One could not imagine this 30 years ago. Nobody could even dare to hope for this 20 years ago. One could only dream about it 10 years ago. Five years ago, we could only envy our neighbors for whom this became a reality. And finally, the day has come. For the first time, we have the opportunity to hear the songs that changed the world and created new culture. The songs that we grew up with and became who we are. These songs tell us about very simple but nevertheless important things. Real love can't be bought and that real friendship can't be sold. There is much more to what unites people than what divides them. And in reality, it is not an impossible task to become a better person and to make the world a better place, especially if you do it all together. While the concert was certainly a gift to people in the Ukraine, the gift was greater than that. It was the manifestation of a dream that for Viktor Pinchuk's country that had now come true. For that music represented their new freedom, freedom that has given him and others the opportunity to invest in the growth of civil society in their countries. Through his foundation, whose goals are to contribute to the modernization of Ukraine and to bring up a new generation of Ukrainian leaders who are committed to serving the country, he has now completed nearly 20 projects that have been carefully selected due to their strategic importance to fulfill these goals. He has awarded scholarships. He has invested in culture. He has, across Ukraine, invested in human rights, a program called Ukraine in the World, and in local communities. Like the McCartney concert, all of these are manifestations of his dreams. Think about Pinchuk's words. One could only dream about it 10 years ago. At the heart of philanthropy, which is love of humankind, lie the dreams of our donors. They speak for themselves and for their communities. Increasingly, these donors are impatient, urgent, eager, bold, entrepreneurial, curious, and yes, often frustrated with our sector's pace in making these dreams happen. Whether very young and new to philanthropy, or living well past 70 or 80 or 90 and eager to see significant change in their RT, their remaining time, these donors are aware of the possibilities because of our accomplishments. We didn't invent philanthropy, we organized it. And now everyone wants to be part of it because of what we've done.